All right, sorry guys. My, I had my alarm set um, on my phone because I was baking something in the oven. And yeah, I don't know why I didn't use the alarm on the phone, but anyway, it just totally cut the whole video and stopped the video. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So anyway, here we go again. Anyways, the gist is, if you stay on the right track, you keep going in the in a positive direction. Eventually, the people are going to start to see the lies that these people have told. I had to go to a funeral. Um, and it was the day before Thanksgiving. And I had to um, put somebody to rest that was very... I loved as much as my father. Sorry. Huge part of my life. Um, and I, there was so many things that were so um, inappropriately done to hurt me and my kids. Um, and they did a good job of that. Boy, did they ever. Um, and I put an olive branch out to somebody in my family that she and I have not spoken. Oh my gosh. Well, it's been a long, long time because she told me that her life was better with me not in it. <clears throat> anyway, I reached out. I, this person was sick at, at the funeral and she had to go into a room because she was coughing. And, and I kept telling my oldest son to go check on her, go check on her. I was so worried. And he's like, no, you do it, mom. You do it. You do it. Because he knows how she is. She's so mean and nasty. And, uh, this person's in her 70s. Anyway, I chose to go look for her because I was, and she has done so many horrible, rotten things to me. And I was still concerned. I still cared. And I went to go reach out to her and to check on her to see if she was okay. And uh, she did, as soon as I entered the room, it, you should have seen this demonic demon that resides in her. The minute I entered, her face, her facial expressions, how it got twisted up and the evil in her eyes and her face. And it was like, what are you doing in here? Kind of a thing. Like, what do you want? You know? And uh, anyway, I was, it, it, the gist of it, I was told, don't worry about me. Just go back out. And so I did. And um, it was heartbreaking. Because this was a moment that we could have um, made up. We could have put the past in the past and moved forward for everybody in the family. But nope, nope. And see, nobody was around to see this because she's famous for this. She's famous for treating me and my kids like absolute shit in private. And then she goes and lies and makes up all kinds of stories that are not true. <laughs> my, my father always said she does live in her own reality. And not the one with the rest of the world. But anyway, um, I there was a lot of things that happened that were very upsetting um, for me and my kids. And it's okay. It's okay. Pe we needed to see who people really truly were. And it came out that day, unfortunately, at a funeral. And the night before as well. Um, so... I know my poppy wouldn't be happy and I know my dad wouldn't be happy, um, but I can't control these other people. And all I can do is try and be the best me and keep going forward. I didn't retaliate, neither did my kids, um, and, and say anything that was not deserved. <laughs> anyway, um, this person, she's miserable. She has, she has money. She has, she has, she's got, she claims she's got everything she needs, but she's miserable, miserable. And she's thrown her own blood under the bus. And she has gone to all kinds of lengths to destroy her own grandchildren, her own grandchildren. And boy, has she put all kinds of money and efforts into tons of other people's grandkids, but, and, but not her own. No, no, no. She talks mad shit about her own grandkids, just like she does about her own daughter. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. There will be a time 
where she's going to regret what she's done. She will. This is a person that hated her mother-in-law. Talked all kinds of crap about her own mother-in-law her whole life. <laughs> this is the best. So, and I'm telling you these stories because some of you um, may have been going through something similar like this. Um, just hated her mother-in-law. Hated her mother-in-law. Couldn't stand her. Blamed her for the reason why her kids never got along. Said she divided her family. Said she ripped everybody apart. And this very person that talked this sh spewed the shit out of her mouth. She's done the same thing to her daughter and son and all her grandkids. Exact same thing. And you know what's worse? She's aware she does this. She's 100% fully aware. Yep. Yep. But mind you, this is somebody that her own mother didn't want her to take care of her when her own mother was dying. It was me that took care of her mother. It wasn't her. No, her mother begged me to take care of her. Don't let, let, let her take care of me, Stephanie. Yeah, because she knew. She knew. So anyway, let's move on. Um, I will be putting more readings up about all this crap. Don't worry, I got my cards. I've added more names in there. Um, I have added all kinds of new messages. So I will be getting some more of those out. I'm going to shorten up my videos so I can get more 